Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Grimgor Ironhide in Grimhammer and we are once again under attack by a swarm of dwarves. It is a smaller and more damaged swarm than usual but we are also pretty hurt but I think we'll be fine. I have had a little bit of a crashing problem with this fight so I've been forced to reduce the um, graphic settings a little bit so things will look a little bit weird but we'll turn them back up up again once we've done with this fight because hopefully this will help so yeah let's just hop in okay so we've fought similar fights before so we're gonna do like we usually do and man this this brings me back this is kind of how it used to look when i played it on my um, potato of a laptop so that's that's nostalgic oh and right we have a breach here right, we're just gonna gamble really quick and get this out of the way and yeah we lost whatever uh, we have a breach here and I feel like we could have just filled filled in this breach with dead dwarf bodies from the last fight it would have hauled them off but oh well oh and we should group these and we'll grab no not you we're gonna grab healthy ones. Oh, and this is tight. There we go. So, we are also gonna have to fight these two towers. So, we're gonna grab like three of you because they're most likely gonna. They're gonna get one of those on the wall. So, we'll plant those there. And actually, we should put like. Put the big ones there. Put a boy here because they they are likely gonna send something here because they usually do. We'll set, put another one there, and I think that's all of our boys. Now our lord summons a bunch of big ones for some reason, and I don't want him to clutter everything up. So we'll put him like here. Uh, put him there. That's fine. We'll figure it out. We're gonna put some goblins there to guard the gate if they get through which they might because we have a bunch of battering rams we are gonna put all of our cavalry over here though so we are gonna try to stop that and try to well kill all of these and maybe get some some uh, siege weapons and rotate in that should be fine we're gonna put you there and you're supposed to be in group two right and you're there. This guy is gonna guard there. And then we have a bunch of goblin archers still. And we're gonna have want a bunch of them there. We are gonna want some hair probably. And we're probably gonna want some around here as well. We're gonna move these up once these leave. Because we don't wanna cause more congestion than there's already gonna be. Right, you should be there as well. Right, I didn't place these. Yes, I did. Very good. I didn't forget forget about them. And you. Yeah, I already placed you. So, let's start. Let's send out our cavalry. See how congested this will be. It's going to be a little bit of traffic, but it'll be fine. We'll put these up there. Is there something else? Right, we should absolutely be able to blow this down. Pretty sure we can't take two towers, but we'll see. And so far it seems to be doing okay. Which is very promising. So let's send you up there. We'll start by killing these quarrelers and just rotate. And please just get there because I don't want them to be shooting anymore. And we're doing good on that tower. Which is promising. We should be able to break it down. Let's just ram you in there. That's gonna be fine. Kill those damn dwarf warriors. Oh, actually. Oh, actually. Pull back. We should get them in range here. Actually, you stay. Because the quarrelers shouldn't be shooting. And we could send you around and onto the bolt throwers. That's fine. And they are in range. Get in there. Good. 
This is fine. Actually, charge into those. They're not allowed to come back. Very good. This one is down. Okay, we might be able to take down both towers, actually. It is down to 35. So we might actually be able to break it. As long as both of these... Maybe. No, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Oh, shit. They broke another one. That's not great, but it's probably fine. Yeah, so these came back. Um, get back there. Need to help those. So these are not doing great. These are routing, which is great. Let's grab two of you and ride you down. I'm gonna get you around. Okay, so these are not coming back. Getting those bolt throwers. What's the rest of you do? Oh, we broke it! Perfect! I was just in the last second, it seems. Very good. Oh, and these are blasting charges. Yeesh. Okay, so these are routing. Very good. Let's grab one of you after that. We can run after that. Because we are going to have to chase them off. Let's make sure they don't come back. And yeah, it's going pretty well here. We are going to want to get rid of that, but right now we're doing fine. I'm happy with that. And breaking these towers is really helpful, actually. That's going to help us hold this wall so much better. And, wait, I, I didn't select you. No, stay. I'm trying to pick these two. Send them up there. You stay on these. We can, we can break them. I believe in us. Go get them, boys. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so these are both broken. We can rotate and help these. These are gonna break. This guy is gonna die. He does not have a, le a lot of HP left. Very good. Swarm these bastards. Show him who's boss, boys. I do love the look of the boar boys. They're so badass. Oh, they're inside. Keep fighting. That's getting an itchy nuisance here. Oh, especially with Ungrim coming in. Rotate in there. We need to kill these bastards. Okay. At least he's going in there. That is fine. Ungrim is such a pain to fight. So let's just... Swarm in on Ungrim. That's gonna be okay. And we almost broken all of these Warf Warriors. Okay, so these Quarrelers should be dying too. That's good. Well, we did some okay damage on these Quarrelers. So, overall, I would say our Cavalry Strike Force did its job. They routed off a lot of stuff. Some Siege Units, some Quarrelers. They did good. Ooh, and there's... There's Thorgrim. He would need to die too. Stay out of there. You can go and help with Ungrim. You two are shooting at Ungrim, right? I certainly hope you are. Because if you're not, then we're gonna make you. Yeah, Ungrim is so strong. What? Start shooting on that. Let's get an itchy nuisance there to debuff both of them. Okay, stop that. Stop those miners. There's a rune lord, but that should be fine. Actually, keep chasing these off. We don't want them coming back. Okay, are you planning on sending that guy up the wall? It seems like it. I'm not gonna let you. 
Okay, so he's dying from missile fire, which is exactly how we're gonna kill him. And oh, <laughs> goblin boss did not have a good time against that. Um, no, you're not gonna get an angle for that. But you should be shooting the corollers. Oh, you actually have kind of an angle, which is fine. Okay, there. Switch places. Change places. Very good. Yeah, okay. You all, you're already fighting. It's so confusing when this the flag stays with the battering ram, but they're elsewhere. Okay, Ungrim is dead. Very good. You're gonna stay here and hold that breach. And we're gonna pop another itchy nuisance because... Well, we need to... Oh, okay. Sorry, there's no point in <laughs> debuffing him, honestly. That was unnecessary. Because his... His attack is 130 with a thousand weapon strength. There's... There's no amount of itchy nuisance that can do anything against that right now. So that's fine. Yes. Keep shooting. You guys, all you shoot at, at them. Oh, right, we have these guys. Oh. That's... That's causing some lag. Let's send you up. And... Because you are gonna be a backup. Oh, get out of that. You are still needed. Let the boys handle them. Because everyone should be shooting. Come on, everyone shoot. Shoot him. Oh, come on. There we go. All of you should be shooting on Grim because he needs to. Die. Oh, everyone is. Oh, this is over. We just need to kill on Grim. Perfect. Everyone shoot. Fucking on Grim. Damn Slayer. He is pretty awesome though, I love his mohawk. But we're peppering him with arrows and he's just gonna be a badass looking porcupine after this. So another dwarf swarm. Well, averted or beaten or smushed. Whatever the terminology is, I'm gonna go with smushed. Oh, he is so hard to kill, but there he goes. Very good. Okay. Okay, so we didn't lose much. We lost this guy, but he's gonna come back. It's the settlement guy. And they... They are not feeling healthy. Perfect. So grab... I don't know, that one. Doesn't really matter. And... Oh, this guy is so annoying. Well, we have the... The boar rider guy is gonna come and... Uh, put him out of, out of his misery, so... Yeah, order is all... So, oh, um, we're gonna go and end you. We can lose two goblin archers, it's fine. I'm not fighting these guys again. All oh, right, um, I'm also gonna fix the, the graphical settings, so I'll be back in just one second. Okay, there we go. So... Grom was... Uh... Oh, hello. All oh, right, there was going to be a rebellion. I forgot about that. Well, we kill that. That's just some free replenishment, basically. Yeah, we lost five guys, but hey, replenishment. Perfect. So, we were going to kill these guys next. Oh, we can pull those out of the garrison. Beautiful. Then we don't have to fight this. They get dragons everywhere, do they? And they're white lions of Shrace. Damn, this is a strong garrison. But that's the last thing they have. And we can pull that shit out. Good. So go and... Oh, that's a lot of raiding money. That's nice. So we have some leveling to do. Right, get that. That is a lot of shards bonus now. It's pretty strong. Which is nice. And you, 
we were giving you stuff um i mean this doesn't really matter that's pretty nice though every everything gets bonus versus large not against that so we're just gonna get that for that which is fine okay and we're zag also had stuff to do like taking this out this is gonna go auto resolve in everything you can have that good take that back that is mine and how dare you take that from me and then we have Ugok the Orable who's gonna go and take this back because oh right we still need to take Iron Rock so march up there and there's not any, not really any more free settlements unless they're underway over there which I mean they probably do because they're assholes but this guy Oh, we already finished the red line. Right. I guess we give you Blade Master and like just beef you up. There we go. Good. Oh, we almost have another Wa as well. Let's see. Five away. Very good. And we're gonna get some from raiding as well. Ooh, we could get some. Oh, Crimson Kill us that. We gotta put that in Grimgor's army. And Broken Tusks, probably. They are sweet. They're actually pretty fast for poor boys. But that might just be because of all of our... All of our buffs. You should have a, an artillery unit. And let's just give you... Rusty Arrows? Yeah, that's fine. There we go, you earned it. And... Yeah. Could just... We'll see how much damage we take out of this and... We'll get something fun. Oh! And we got some... Got some upkeep reduction. It's a, that's not bad. Any of these? It's especially enticing? I guess we can get that. It's fine. So, oh, more rebellions. It's always rebelling somewhere. It's always some ingrates. Oh, this guy. Well, that's gonna rebel anyway. And, I mean, Black Crag isn't gonna be taken by a rebellion army. That's fine. So, pass. Okay, so. Even the We're getting a lot of stuff. Even the but I don't want to fight this in walls, probably. Nor do I. Maybe that maybe that that'll make it easier. So, first of all. Oh. We can auto resolve this. But we lose our colossal squigs. But I think we just fight this, ignore the walls, get it over with. Let's do it. Okay, so they're, they're gonna corner camp. Cowards. But we can just put all of our shit over there. Actually, let's do like that and just spread them out when we get there. These guys are gonna run north and east and go after actually I don't know we're gonna ride them up and see what they do I want to see what happens first these guys are gonna go with those ish and you are gonna go with these guys and do some horrible magics as you do and we'll just put you there that's fine so big orc Fat front line, that's fine. Just go, go forth. Send you up, send pigs up, send squigs up, and that is everyone. Very good. So, we have a lot of uh, 
a lot of halberds units and uh, and spare units and those that aren't halberds are white lions which are also kind of terrifying they have a lot of shit I don't really want to fight but we gonna start with that no no no, no. wait that's that's bad Yeah, how about that? Maybe that's better. Ah, it's not very good. Oh well. We'll get there. I'm just gonna pop that again. And we'll pop that. Oh. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, damn. That's... That wasn't good. <laughs> okay. Go in there. Okay. The normal spearmen should be fine. If you can just crash through and get to the archers, that would be great. And let's pop an itchy nuisance about there. Get you there as well. You can come back up. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Gonna deal some good damage with our infantry here. Our squigs are rampaging through their stuff. You should stay in your archer lines. And these guys are gonna deal with these ish. They're, they're working on it, at least. Oh, and there's this is a big blob. We should really get that and that. And it's gonna kill a lot of elves and debuff a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Die by ugly moon thing. I always think of Majora's Mask when I see that. <laughs> Send you over there. The squigs are doing just fine. Which is good. You should rotate into there. Let's go and help. You are fine. Um, send you over there. Just go there and blob on them. You can stay and fight these if you want. Okay, we're doing okay, and... Ooh, the Immortals are getting into the Archers, which is nice. It's going pretty okay so far. They're fleeing out the map, which is helpful. Takes them out of the fight right away. Um, you want to go and uh, debuff this nobleman, please? And, I don't know, get cast there, should be fine. Oh, and get some pigs in there. There's where the money pig, pig charge is. Good. Kill that high mage. And kill these. Kill this fire mage as well. Let's kill the mages. The immortals are hurting, but they are fine in general, though. It should be okay. And the squig is giving the the hurt to the fire mage, which is great. You can probably go and belly flop on these uh, on those archers a little bit. And no, come back. And we are gonna try and kill some of these because, well, this is not gonna be the last time we fight them, so to say. Okay, we killed the Lord, which is good. And we're not really gonna catch up with anything, so let's end. Okay, so that was mostly fine. <laughs> the Goblin War Boss. He took a little bit more damage than he should have, because I just sent him forward and didn't really care anymore, but that's fine. We're gonna take the little replenishment we get, and then we can probably auto-resolve the, the siege, because I don't really want to fight that siege. Yeah, this is fine. Good. Oh, sh <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, that's fine.
At least we didn't lose them. Good for nothing, pill for us. And they will mostly recover here, I believe. Yeah, that's fine. They're fine. Oh, and there's a lot of angry promises. Oh, stop that. Okay, so these are gonna have to attack, basically. And do we even wanna exchange one of these? Like, they're kind of on par. Pretty much the same, because they already have the chevrons and the scrap stuff, so... The weapon strength is better on the regiment. But in general, kind of the same. So, I think we'll just keep it. The Crimson Killers, on the other hand, are very good, but I'm, I think they're better served in another army. Monsters? Do we want a monster? They are very good. Nah, I'm fine with this. This is the army Grimgor wants. This is the Grimgor army. Let's give her more HP. And the Night Shaman. Right, we're giving you a bunch of melee defense. That's gonna be great. And Grimgor is finally getting Deadly Onslaught. Very good. Okay, so this is the last part of Imric's army, and he's gonna have to basically suicide it in there. And. Hmm. We have a Wa. We should use that. And we probably just do it on the dwarves again. Because I feel like if we end the dwarves, I think that's the last thing we do in this campaign. And I think this WA is gonna end it. So let's do it for Gork. And we'll start marching everything up. You're just gonna take this back. Wait, really? You can't reach that? Huh. Okay, we get further with this march dancing, so that's fine. We're gonna take this back. These guys are not gonna be able to take Karak 8 Peaks because it's a pretty strong garrison. These guys are not gonna be able to take Black Crag, so that's fine. You're just gonna start building up your army and you are also just gonna take this back. Yep. And we're just gonna go march with like four fat stacks of Wa army, orc army, so this is gonna be good. And I guess income from raiding is fine. Oh, and more rebellions, huh? Well, this is gonna be fine. Let's just build some tents. That's fine. You can put that back on. Border Prince's territory is absolutely fine. Wolflands. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's a good <laughs> a good reason to not tax this. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We should probably look at these that Okay, it's just this one. That's fine. Oh. We do have a commandment and we no. Just keep extorting. Okay. They want peace. I assume this much. They're not getting peace. Okay, so there's a lot of things popping up here. Our squigs are really hurt. Please let us... Okay, we can still order the salt without losing our squigs. I was worried that we, we would have to fight this to keep our squigs, but no. Good. The reinforcements died. How did that happen? I mean, oh right, this is the, <laughs> of course, this this is the garrison. This is the Wa army. I thought this was the Wa army, but of course it's not. It's too big. It hasn't been able to big build that far. So there we go. Um, did that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Gork is happy and gave us 999 gold and a bunch of leadership and melee attack. That's awesome. Knights of Kalidor is dead and buried. Very good. More Swindlers. We just can't get enough of them. 
I guess we'll just go and auto-resolve this while we're at it. Good, we are not losing the squigs. Good. Oh, they have some black orcs in their rebellion. That is, uh, that is not a bad rebellion. Oh, and we got the big one. We're gonna have to give that to, to, um, Wurzag, aren't we? Oh, right. We're at level 30. Awesome. So, upkeep reduction? Nah, we don't need that. Lord recruit rank? We're not recruiting any more lords, I think. Um, melee attack and melee defense for heroes is very good. And meh. Yeah, okay, buff up our heroes. Love that. Got more swindlers. We have more swind. Oh no. Oh god, I hate this. Okay, I guess we'll take it next turn. Why did you turn gray? This is weird. Okay, so these guys are just doing what they do. That's underway over there. Repair it and... Oh! Hey, what's... What's going on? Okay. Something happened. Well, we'll take this next turn. And... Ooh, you got the lava spiders. I like these. They're not, like, amazing, but I like those. They're cool. And you can get a lot of them with Grom's Cauldron because there's some some recipe that just gives you like, what is it, five in your regiment pool? Which is which is just great. Well, if you like them, that is. And I do. So. Oh, well, we filled that out, so. I guess just keep filling this out then. You're gonna need more middle defense. You do take a beating sometimes. And... You can take this. You have a lot of middle defense now. That's very nice. Happy for you. Proud of you, little buddy. Let's teach him right. That's fine. And you can finish this. Bonus versus Lord for everything. It's not bad. And we moved Verzag, the other guy, and he's just gonna sit there just in case more dwarves. And of course, but. We'll kill him like next turn or the turn after that, so that's fine. Yeah, so they will not keep that, I can tell you that much. So let's just march there. And for some weird orcish magic, we can just raid. That is so broken. Or we can just march into a raid stance. And we can auto resolve this. Ooh, we got the Lava Ragnarok as well. This guy's getting the good stuff. Nice. Okay, so we got this back. Good. Get the obedience back. And you can start going north. Because you're done. Where's Ag? Take this back. And then you're gonna start going north. Good. Good, now we finally got everything back. And, ooh, Obsidian Blade is good. We, go. we don't have a very good... Well, you actually do have a pretty good weapon. How about you? Uh, Sword of Antiheroes is pretty good. See, 20% is about 100, so... I would be better than... Oh, actually... You already, you already equipped that, so... That's fine. Oh, this guy got three levels. Finish that, get that. And you also got three levels. Um, I guess you can have the... Orc Cavalry stuff? No, wait. He started this for you. Let's get Woundmaker and Hard to Hit. And then we can pass again. Oh, wait. We can get the camp ruckus back. Now we can pass. Oh, Vlad. Vlad ended the aggression pact. Okay. This would be a very bad time for him to end that aggression pact if I were to want to kill him, but I don't think we will. 
I don't think we're gonna fight them, so that's fine. Let's auto resolve this. Good. Occupy it, take it back. So, how many settlements do they still have? Three still. Huh. I'm guessing. Oh, let's turn the map the right way. I'm guessing it's like. Oh, wait, this. This is Deathmaster, right? So, I guess it's like that, that, and that. So we're just gonna go up with Grom, not Grom, uh, Grimgor this way. Or we just piece them out. Who cares about them? Oh, come on. <laughs> so many pop-ups. What are we getting? Mostly boys. Where's the black orcs? Yeah, he's getting the, the bad was. Okay, we can just underway as far as we can. And oh, they are getting some black orcs. Hmm. Strong rebellions. Can we okay, just get as far as you can, and we'll start going north? Good. Let's end again. Okay, so the rebellion finally attacked, at least one of them. Can we just? No, we can't. All oh, right, this is this is the weaker one, so hmm, we might actually lose this. <laughs> okay, well, it wouldn't be that bad. So we'll see. We might just let them take it because, well, it doesn't really matter. So let's just go north. We'll start going towards the the dwarves to finish this. I don't think we care about the the Rictus clan nest. So, I think we just... He's moot. There we go. It's fine. Let's not care about them anymore. Go there and... Um, you go there. And with that, I think we're gonna end the episode here. As next episode, we can probably finish off the dwarves. They only have... Let's see. They have nine settlements. Oh, they have a shit ton over here in the mountains. So, yeah, we're gonna eradicate them. See... See what they have, but... It should be pretty straightforward. These guys are gonna start going north, and we can actually just... Send them. I am gonna... Get rid of some of these, maybe. Like so. Get some cool ass shit here, like these guys. We gotta have them somewhere, right? Might as well give them to this guy who needs it. We might actually need to get rid of like two more. And we can get. We can have the Crimson Killers and the 8 Peak Loonies. There we go. Now he's more formidable. That's fine. Because these two are gonna have. Huge battles over there, it seems, and that's gonna be great. So, with that, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a comment and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!